Let's come low. Yeah, that's a good intro. Always looking for that intro pass. We got the A4 scooter for the Skyhawk, if you will, fully loaded. I got the ordinance on here. This is the high performance version, guys. So this has the in-runner motor, nine blade fan. I believe it's 1920 kV. And uh, this will be my fourth flight on it today. I've actually never flown this one up until today. So I'm always excited to fly something that I haven't flown. I'm going half flaps, take off flaps here, and uh, let's get on it. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk right after. So take it off left to right. Gonna bring the throttle up. Gonna pull, pull back, and look at that. Nice lift off. Gonna bring my gear in first. I stay about 75% throttle. Then gears in, flaps are coming out. Now I'm gonna bring my throttle back down to about 50. And I noticed with this model, she really, really likes rudder in the turn. So I got some rudder there. And let's bring it down with 50% throttle. Coming by. Sounds so good. She's got such a beautiful presence in the air. And now this is uh, what I put as low rate, so I'm 55% uh, on my control surfaces, on my ailerons, and about 65% on the elevator. So I'm, this would be what my low is now, and I haven't bothered going back to high. It was very sensitive with what I had set for high rates, but I could show you that uh, with the meter afterwards. So let's bring her up. Let's go straight up here into a loop. Bring her down, now that is power off. And one thing about that triangle shape on the wing, she would really cater to high alpha if I was much better. I know a lot of guys are, and this is a, a love. Let's speed it up though, full throttle. Bear with me guys, I just, this is my first time flying back after a week long vacation. You feel like you forget everything. When that happens, you forget how to make videos, you forget how to fly airplanes. Luckily, I remembered how to put my shoes on today. But look at that, it sounds so good when she comes around. Bringing rudder back in, and she'll turn really nicely like that. Let's show you the top. And I love the hump on it, that is removable. We'll show you that after. This, this model comes with such excellent scale details, which I love. Let's go inverted. Now I'm gonna push up. Let's, oh yeah, coming back, power out, gonna glide towards us, and then show that ordnance package. Two big drop tanks, two big missiles. The ordnance is really great on this model, but I will say it must add a lot of drag. I've yet to fly it without the ordnance, so, you know. I will do that. I'm thinking in this video, I'm going to throw another pack in her and do my first flight without the ordinance and just see if she picks up. But now I'm dropping gear. We're going to do a dirty pass. Flaps. That's flaps and gear. And now landing left to right. So I set my timer for two minutes and 30 seconds of useful throttle time. And uh, I'm in a 5,000 again, a 5,000 Admiral and it feels really good there. Pushed all the way forward too. I had a little back and it was a little tail heavy on my maiden. And uh, now I'm power off the glide, bringing power in. Little power, little power. And sit it down and let's make sure the bomb stays on. It usually pops off when I go in the grass. And I think it stayed on. Yay, two for, two for four on that, Alex. <laughs> With the bomb staying on. And I'm not used, if you guys notice on a lot of our videos, we usually take off right to left. There's a lot more space there to uh, predict your landing approach better. So everybody though today, even though the wind is basically dead, everybody decided that a left to right pattern was gonna be the way of the day. So who am I to change it? All right, let's 
get my self checker because it's not on me. We'll check this out. We'll talk about it, but then I'll throw it up to another flight. And remember, all those time codes are in the bottom of the video, so you can skip ahead, back, whatever you want to do. Uh, be right back. All right, so we just took her off the runway here, and now the one thing I love, again, the scale detail. So with this one, before I even open it up to check the battery, again, you got the ordnance, all comes included. You've got guns on the front, which I love, the big pedo tube, which is awesome. You got this hump on the top where all the avionics would have been. That just comes right off, uh, easily removable with magnets, and that gives you access to your spring-loaded clasp that gets you in to your uh, canopy. And again, I have my 5,000, so it's pushed as far forward as it possibly can. And uh, I really like it there. It still has enough authority to sit. Um, if you want to play high alpha, you could obviously. I know guys, this model's been around a while. Check the forums. Guys are going to tell you how they fly it, um, you know, of course. But that's where I've enjoyed it for my first four flights today, or at least the last three of them. The first one, I was a little farther back. But I'm going to unplug quick. Take off the there and I got my rubber on and again 5,000 one of my original 5,000s the thing battery's got to be about four four years old still rocking and rolling and I am at 3.7879 right in the uh, storage charge range so I don't know what the full flight on that was I was mostly half throttle um, putzing around she will do that great I like you know, I like the scaleness of this and obviously all the drag on the, uh, you know, with the drop tanks and the ordnance and such, you know, you're not getting a fair shot of the speed passes. So that's a big C-130. Look up, Alex. It's Patrick. Is that Patrick? Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> you're blowing my video. But uh, <laughs> continuing on, I'll talk a little louder. So again, actually, let me plug her back in real quick with the pack I already have. I'll lift her up. I can't sit her on her nose because of that pedo tube. That's something that, you know, I'll eventually break, <laughs> I'm sure. But let's show you the gear. See, I've got good grass capable gear. So when I take it back up for another flight without the ordinance, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take off from grass and land it on grass for you guys. But you see, she looks really nice. And what I love too, all the decals, all the decals come. I believe the decals come pre-applied. Or I may be wrong about that. I'm forgetting now, actually. I'm gonna have to look in the manual if they came pre-applied or not. I believe they do somewheres, but now part of me is remembering that I may have put it on the tail. It's been a while. Wesley Miller actually made in this bird. Uh, we got it for Joe Nall, if you guys remember. If you're young enough to remember what Joe Nall is, it used to be this amazing RC show that we hope uh, comes back. But he had made it at one of those events, and he, that was sort of his bird for the week. He was hanging out with us. I never got a chance to fly it then, just busy with other things but I was looking at it and said, it's time to uh, take her out. But overall guys, super model. Now with the in-runner upgraded package inside as a high performance version, or you can get the ARF Plus. Um, either way, it looks really, really good. So now, um, actually, I'm gonna grab my meter quick and I wanna show you guys the rates I was using. So I'll be right back. All right, we got our Benchcraft Control Surface throw meter on it and I'll show you where I was comfortable. If I do my aileron movements, I'm at 15 millimeters of deflection. That's what I was using as low rates. That equated to 55% in my Futaba radio. Uh, got me there, and my high rates are 20 millimeters. So I felt it was uh, a little more rolly, you know, a little more drill bitty uh, at that. Anything higher, because they will go really high. They're almost off the meter um, regularly. So, you know, you definitely want to tame down your aileron rates. And then for elevator, I'll pop it on here. Again, I went with my low rate setting. So I love this thing because you just pop it on, make sure it lines up at zero. There we go. And if I look at it right here, I am at 25, about 25, 24 millimeters for my low. And my high was looking more towards 29. Um, you know, again, a lot less than what the uh, you know, what they'll come out of the box. So dumb down those uh, movements. She'll fly more scale. She uh, didn't seem pitchy at all once I got in position. And overall, guys, I was excited to finally get out with the A4 Skyhawk. So I'm going to put in a fresh pack and we're going to end this video with me flying it without the ordnance. They just come off again. They are magnets, actually. They're not the railing system. So you can just, that's why if you hit you hit some grass with them, they'll pop right off, which I guess is a good thing. In, in a sense, they won't break or rip out the foam with the uh, MWS railing system like some other things. But I'm gonna clean her up and I'm probably not even gonna put the, uh, I'm probably not gonna put the hump on top too. Let's 
Let's take off as much uh, drag as possible and let's go fly again. All right, we are on the grass and we are fully empty. So no ordinance, no hump on the top, and we're just gonna take off from grass. I'm going half flaps and taking off left to right. Let's see how she does. Now again, oh, let's try that. <laughs> I'm gonna start from here. See, go for holes and everything. Here we go, taking off, give some rudder. Oh, and she's gone. It actually might have been less because I started farther back on the runway with same flat position on the first flight. It might have been less, but again, our grass is not, uh, does not cater to this. You're landing right to left. We got another jet in the air. So I'm gonna go, I am shutting off power and I'm gonna glide a bit because he's gonna land right to left. I thought we were in a left to right pattern. <laughs> we're cool. But now I can land right to left if I want to. All right, he's down. So now I'm gonna bring the power back in and let's see what the speed is like with nothing on it, that in-runner motor, and just us in the air. Ooh! Screens, let's take it up. Let's take it up to at least four. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going, Alex. Power off. Oh, I was losing it. I had to pull up a little earlier than I wanted to, but we are all glide there. Let's get into our right to left pattern so the video looks a bit different. I'm at half throttle. Gonna come around. And oh, she is like, she feels much lighter without. And I might have to like retrim. I haven't retrimmed or anything. I didn't do a trim flight without it. I'm just going for it. That's what people want me to do, right? People tell me get dangerous with it. Let's get dangerous with it. If I hit a tree, it's on you guys. Ho! Oh. <laughs> and I'm just getting crazy. So again, with this one, guys, I have no gyro in here at all. Um, I've seen them fly and nothing about this intimidated me or thought, I'm sure it would fly great on a gyro. I believe in gyros, but I was a little lazy when I was setting it up last night and I just didn't want to throw a gyro in it. I just wanted to get it done, go to bed so I can get here in the morning. Let's come low. Yeah, that's a good intro. Always looking for that intro pass. Now I'm hearing my timer go, so gear coming out. Flaps coming down. I'm about half throttle. And I'm gonna take the grass if I can. I'm gliding it now, bringing the throttle back. Ooh, cross, you see that? Oh, and grass stops it. Hey, I'm at the end of the runway. And be careful on your rudder, guys, when you're turning with too much speed, she will tip. She sits high like the scooter did in real life. So, you know, it almost looks awkward to me, you know, with how high she sits, but that's the way she would have sat. So I was excited with that flight. Opened it up a little more, put a little risk for some potential crashing, and, uh, you know, always makes it fun. I'm gonna do some more flights on it, let Alex chase me in the air. You might see that footage, uh, or you might not. But guys, that'll do it for us here at Motion RC. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions you have, leave them in the comment section. And remember now, we have a join button. It's about right down here, uh, 99 cents. Uh, we'll make sure your questions get answered. Um, and of course, we're gonna try to open that up and provide more stuff, um, especially for the live show. But uh, the join now is there. And also check out the merch store too. Teespring, I'm making all sorts of crazy uh, a crazy uh, shirts and stuff, always adding new stuff there. So definitely peruse that from time to time if you're interested in some Motion RC swag. So that'll do it for me and Alex. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time at Motion RC.